Hey loves, uh, this is going to be my next reading vlog. Um, you know, uh, this is going to be the first week. Is it the first week? Yeah, the first week that I am attempting my five uh, readathons. I am a mess. I have no idea how I plan on reading all these books, but I'm doing pretty good progress so far. And I have read some great books already. Um, so in this video, it'll just be going over all of that that I'm reading. And I've filmed quite a few videos this week, so look forward to editing and get the, getting those all uploaded. Um, I've been trying to think of a few other videos that I'd really like to do. Um, one of them I kind of want to try, and I gotta sit down and really think about it, is I noticed a lot of people, um, I noticed it before, and um, I'm noticing it even more now, is since I started getting into audiobooks, a lot of people saying that they can't read them, they can't sit there and understand them, and I was one of those people that was the exact same way until recently, and I kind of want to do a video talking about the different um, tips and tricks that I've kind of learned since I started doing audiobooks last month. Um, obviously these won't be universal for everybody, but the reason why I couldn't do them before, it was a processing thing for me. Um, I would get sidetracked, I would lose focus, uh, just all these other things that I hear a lot of people mentioning the same as me. And I kind of want to do a video just talking about different, um, different things that I've, you know, started picking up and noticing like, okay, this is when I can do an audiobook. These are some of the, you know, the things I have to follow while doing audiobooks. Um, I've been giving a few people advice about it since they sounded very really interested when they asked me like, well, I know you can do audiobooks. Like how, how are you getting around that now? And I think a video like that would be really fun. Um, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, let me know. So that is where I'm at for this week. Um, I will check in in a bit. Bye. Hey loves, here with Monday's update. Let's see if I can keep my days straight this week because yeah, if you saw last week's vlog, I totally missed Wednesday because I don't know, I lost a day. But um, I didn't get really any reading done um, during the weekend, but that's not really surprising. I don't tend to. <clears throat> I always say I'm going to read during the weekend, but for some reason I just never do. And it's usually when we go do grocery shopping and whatever other shit we have to do. Um, so I'm still on my first book for all three readathons, but I'm almost done with it. And I am reading Only Human by Sylvain Nouvelle. I am almost done. I'll finish it right now. Um, oh, what can I say? I was loving it, and now I'm like loving it, but not loving it, loving it. So this, so far, this might be the weakest of the trilogy for me, but it's still really good, and I need to know what's gonna happen because so much stuff is just going on. There's so much, and there's two characters who I hate. I want them to die, and I hope they die. I will only be happy if they die. Yeah. I have no problem wishing death upon fictional characters, but there's two of them in here I just despise with every fiber of my being, especially one of them. She's evil, evil bitch, and I love it because I hate her so much, but that's all I'm doing. Um, the next book I will be starting is The Final Empire, which is the first book for Mistborn. I am freaking ready for it. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I already got the audiobook. I got it approved the other day, so it's been really hard trying to hold off on that, but I am ready for it. Um, that's it. Um, I don't know if I'll do another update today or not, just depending on kind of what I do. Maybe I'll do one right before bed. So there we go. That's what's what. Um, I hope you're doing good. I'll catch you later. Bye. Okay, I was just out here filming, and there was something underground that was like digging its way up and it freaked me the hell out thankfully my brave child here she's a total sissy came out and I don't know where the hell it went but it was like moving around underneath the ground and I am not terrified I might go inside cuz yeah no that's that's not happening hey guys quick update still Monday I am remembering to update cuz I just finished only humans I really enjoyed it um, 
I will be honest, it's probably my least favorite of the series, but it is still fucking awesome. Um, I'm gonna be going with a 4.5 rating on it. There was just certain parts where I wish it was a little different, but, 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 like I mentioned before in my other vlog, the author wrote these little shorts. I wouldn't even call them novellas because the longest one is the last one, which is only nine pages. And since it's an interview format, it's literally not that long. It's like takes two minutes to fucking read. The last one, which you are supposed to read as soon as you finish this, I had it saved. I just read it and holy fucking shit, that last little snippet blew my mind. I'm like fucked up right now. Like I can't with this series. This has to be one of the best series I have ever read. And like I said, I don't finish series like ever, but I finished the series in under three weeks. And that was with other books in between, but I'm not okay right now. That little snippet just, it messed me up. It was so fucking good. Read this series. If you have read this series, let me know. If you have a review or anything up, let me know. I would love to watch it because I can't. It was so awesome to me. I loved it so much. Can I say that just over and over again? I loved it. It was so good. Sylvain Nouvelle is like one of my new favorite authors. Like, has he written anything else? I don't know. I didn't look it up. I'm gonna look it up now because dude's a genius. But yes, if you have read this series, definitely 100%, I recommend you look up the little snippet novella things um you can find them on the website or if you're on goodreads just go into any one of the books and go down to the reviews like one of the top reviews has the link in there and read them all um they tell you which order to go in and they tell you if you should read it before or after one of the books but if you have read this series and you finished it and you did not read the last novella at least read that one because okay quick update it is monday night well Monday night, Tuesday morning. It's like 2 in the morning. I'm still awake. I'm not tired. I've been getting insomnia lately. Um, like I said, I finished Only Human. I was going to start Final Empire. Didn't end up doing that. Um, I had thought I had finished all of my um, net galley arcs, but there was one that I had marked that I read on... Um, I broke my nail. Um, one that I had marked that I had finished on Goodreads and I had forgot that I didn't. I don't know how the hell I ended up messing it up or what the hell happened there. But it's I Hope You're Listening. Um, and I had started it a while ago. I didn't finish it. Um, I wanted to get it done because I'm trying to make sure I have all of my net galley caught up and everything. Um, and it actually fits one of my um tropical readathon tropes the disappearing trope um so i'm going to be swapping out sock hill girls for it um i don't know i keep looking at sock hill girls and i'm just not i don't know i'm not feeling it maybe i'll still read that by the end of the month but i am gonna finish um i hope you're listening i think i stopped at like maybe 20 percent, so i didn't get very far into it um or less than 20%. I don't know. I wasn't very far, but I'm almost done with it now. I'm really interested in it. I'm liking it. Um, it's a one, like I've said before, in a past vlog. I really think it'll make a really good audiobook. So that's where I'm at. I will be starting Final Empire tomorrow as soon as I can. Um, and then, because I need to get to the fourth book on my, this broken nail is like, gonna drive me crazy um I need to get to the fourth book on my TBR because I'm doing a buddy read with two books with my friend Emma we're going to be reading the past and other things that should stay buried and Cryer's War together so I don't want to have her um fall behind on anything because of me but the only thing that's throwing me off is the Disney readathon because you have to go in order which I hate when you have to go in order on things like but that's not what I want to read. But I am. So this chunk of boy is next. I'm very, very excited. I don't know why I keep whispering, but I do. But there we go. Quick update. So I will update tomorrow sometime with when I start this and how I am liking it. Because I gotta say, you guys have hyped it up a lot. 
So I'm going in, ready for my mind to be blown. So there we go. That's that's what, and I will see you in a bit. Bye. Hey loves. Um, today is Wednesday. I have started Final Empire. I am fucking loving it. I'm almost 200 pages in. I am outside and I'm going to do some crafting and stuff right now because I haven't in a while and have a bunch of stuff I need to do. So I'm going to get on that. Um, I'll update in a bit to show you exactly what I'm doing while I get everything kind of together. Um, I'm going to be listening to the audiobook of The Final Empire while I do all this since I can't have the book in my hand. Um, I really like the narrator so far. I've been switching off and on between the two. Uh, I really like it. Like I said, I had no doubt I was going to like it and I'm loving it and you know what's going to happen. I love all the characters. So bye for now. I will update in a few minutes. Okay. I, what I'm going to be doing today craft wise is I'm going to be painting these uh, plasticky $3 frames um, gold because they are going to go up on my wall where I have the moon reef that I have shown before. Um, there is my final empire, but yeah, I'm going to be spray painting them gold and everything and then kind of throwing some flowers on there so I can put the pictures that are going to go in there. I kind of want to decorate them. Um, I'll show all of it when I am done. Okay. I have finished my frames and I've made pretty good progress on the final empire. I am absolutely loving this. I cannot wait to see where everything is going. Um, so here are the frames that I finished. I painted, I added all of the little flowers and stuff to them. I think they came out pretty dang cute. So Bobby, what are you going to do today? Well, I'm going to try and finish my 600 plus page book that I'm supposed to be reading for a readathon that I have, well, for the five readathons that I'm freaking doing, what do I do? I sit on my floor and I start watching YouTube videos for two hours and I don't read anything. I'm doing the freaking audiobook. So could I have been listening to it? I probably could have. Did I? Nope. What else do you have to do? I should be making my bed before I go to bed. You know, do it while you have time, not before you're getting ready to lay down and go to sleep. Did I do it? No. My blankets are currently piled up on my bed. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Okay, a quick update. I am still reading The Final Empire. I am almost done. Um, as you can see, I kind of tabbed the hell out of this one like I did Elantris. Um, I'm going to try and finish this tonight. If not, I will finish it first thing tomorrow and I'll get on to my next book. But holy crap, I am loving this. Um, I didn't do any updates today. Today is Thursday for the fact that I had a bunch of stuff to do around the house. Because um, Also, I filmed a bunch of videos so that I can kind of be kind of caught up a little bit because I had been filming like one video at a time and today I filmed... I say like four or five videos, different ones. Um, so I'm very happy about that. I also fit, filmed my first um, review video, um, and I did that for the um, Theamis Files, which was the uh, Sleeping Giants, uh, Waking Gods, and Only Human, because I had to talk about it. Because I'm still not okay. I am not okay after that series. But yes, um, I'm just, like I said, I'm still working on this. I'm trying to finish this before I start any other books. Um, usually I'll try and do like two books at a time, but this time I'm only going to be doing the one. And oh, I'm loving this so much. It's going to be so hard to not start the next book in the series. But I want to get through my August TBR. And if I do finish early, I'm going to try and just jump into the next one. I don't have the audiobooks available for the next two. I might just sign up for Audible so I can listen to them because I really love the audio format for these. But if not, I will just read them. I don't care. I need I, I need to know what's going to happen. Um, so yeah, like I said, today is a Thursday. That's what's up. That's where I'm at. I will update tomorrow. Bye. This book was so damn good. I loved everything about it. For this being a book that's like, 650 plus pages it did not feel that long um i was hooked 
it is so damn hard for me not to throw out my TBR and just finish the rest of the series or attempt to finish the series because, like I said, I am not okay. It was just so damn amazing. I loved the magic system. I loved the characters. My favorite thing in here had to be the relationship between the characters and the way it builds and the whole camaraderie between them. I just, I loved it. But this has to be probably my like all time favorite magic system of like ever now. Like I love it. It's so detailed. I've never really delved too high into um are too deep into um like hard magic systems i need it now because i love this magic system so much uh mm, what am i supposed to do with my life now because i want to finish the rest of the series but i will not abandon my tbr i will not i will not so i'm done this is the third book that i have finished for the tropical readathon the second book that I have finished for Disney and the second book I have finished for the Newts 2020. So that is where I'm at with the, that. I'm doing great. I'm going to be starting the next book and this one will also be covering both Tropical and Disney. So that is Every Heart at Doorway by Shannon McGuire. I'm ready. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I have been trying to read this damn book forever. I didn't have a copy of it. I finally got gifted a copy and then I hadn't been able to fit it into a prompt because I had already built my TBR. I am so excited. I cannot wait. It's a super thin book. So I'm going to be doing this one today. And um, I'm also going to be organizing my shelves because I finally filmed my um book haul video that I had been wanting to do so now I have to find somewhere to put all said books you would think I would stop buying books just for the fact that I absolutely hate having to find somewhere to put them but no I don't um so I'm gonna rearrange my bookshelf a bit um mainly the mainly it's gonna be the bottom two shelves that go all the way across but I might rearrange this one and this one because I think I'm going to move all of the Brandon Sanderson books up here because that is like the biggest one I have to do because there's like I bought 10 books and then I had four so yeah I'm hoping they all fit onto one shelf because if they don't I'm gonna cry but yeah you can see my shelves are kind of a mess and it's been driving me nuts but I did manage to clear off an entire shelf down there those are just the books that I have read recently that I'm going to be keeping um so I have an empty shelf which holy crap um I also I don't know if I might just throw it into a vlog or I might do a separate video but I want to do an unhaul video um because I'm getting rid of quite a few books um just ones that I either liked but I bought a different edition for or that I didn't like and I don't want them on my shelves so there's that but yep I'm going to be starting every heart at doorway because I need to keep on chugging because it's a huge STBR and I'm so excited for this one and I need to stop this book hangover that I'm having because I am like mm, on like a high right now because the Theomis files left me messed up Final Empire has me left me messed up, so I've got some high expectations, and I've been fucking so looking forward to this damn book, so I'm ready. So I will update later and see if I made any kind of progress with my bookshelves or not, because, yeah, I'm really not looking forward to pulling all these books out, but wish me luck. Hey loves, a uh, really quick update. Today is still Friday. Um, I did end up finishing Every Heart a Doorway. I loved it. It was everything I wanted. It was everything I hoped for. It was more than I hoped for. I'm so happy with it. I now need to finish the rest of the series. I just bought all of it. I'm just waiting for them to get here. And I'm reading the second one part of my Newt's TBR. But now I just, I need all of them. I need to read them all.
I've gotten one today in the mail. Um, I have no idea what order this one is in, but I got in an absent dream. Um, like I said, I think this might be like one of the third or fourth one or something like that. But yeah, I loved it. I'm hooked. I need more. Um, I was going to start another book, but the next book on my TBR, since I have to go in order because of the Disney readathon, is um, The Past and Other Things That Should Stay Buried, I believe is the full title of it. I hate long titles just for the fact that I can never remember them. Um, so yeah, I will be starting that one tomorrow. I ended up, um, I had just subscribed to, I don't know if it's Scribd or Scribed, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but um, I was going through a bunch of audiobooks and stuff and they had Black Flamingo on there and I've heard so many good things about it. So I put that on because it was really short and I knew I could finish it, you know, before the end of the night and it would, I didn't have a gap between what I was reading or starting another book and then having to stop it to start tomorrow. So I really liked it though. It's very different from the first time I really read anything in verse. I did the audiobook. I did like it. I liked it. I gave it four stars. Um, it was really good. Um, so that is where I'm at. So there we go. I am off to go take a shower. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. So quick update. Today is Saturday. I did not read a single page. I did not organize my shelf. I did nothing. Why? I don't know. I did, though, get book mail today, and I'm very excited because, as you know, I just read Every Heart of Doorway, and now I'm hooked, and I still hadn't gotten the rest of the books. I think I got, like, the third book, and then I had the first book. The second book just came. I am going to start this and read this right now. It's pretty late at night. I think it's like going to be midnight, but I don't care because it's super small and I need to know what's going to happen. And I'm, you know, I'm hooked. I need more of this world. And yes. So I got to see what that other one is that I got. Cause I don't know what order these go in off the top of my head. So uh, there we go. Quick little update for Saturday. I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey loves. Um, quick Sunday update before I start editing this vlog. Um, I did end up starting The Past and Other Things That Should Stay Buried by Sean David Hutchinson. I'm doing this as a buddy read with my friend Emma, and I am liking this so much. It's so different and a lot of fun, and it's definitely um, Six Feet Under meets Pushing Daisies. Um, the friendship in here is something that I really like because um, this is an LGBT plus book, this has the main character. I thought his name was Dino, but it's actually Dino. But this is for the strange name tab. And the friend, her name is July, which is still a weird name. Kind of strange. So I get to keep it. Um, but the friendship in here is really wonderful because it's very different. And it definitely takes it from the point of view of anyone who is queer and does have, um, you know, straight friends and some of the comments they can make to you that aren't exactly funny, but you'll laugh because you don't want to, you know, bring up that they're problematic. And I really love the way it's handled in here. Um, it was just, it's a lot of fun. I am about halfway through it right now and I, um, it's living up to all the expectations I had. Um, and hopefully I will finish this tonight. If not, I'll be finishing it tomorrow. Um, I just, I'm really, really, really enjoying it. I just think it's, it's, it's great. So hopefully it stays on that track. Um, so that's it. That is all I have, uh, read today. Um, if I do finish that today, I'm hoping to start down in the sticks and bones next. Um, if not, I'll be starting the next prompt for, um, the Disney -a -thon. I can't remember which prompt it is though but I think it might be the group read and I'm not quite ready to get into that one yet. And um, Down Among the Sticks and Bones is one of the few books that's only on one TBR so I can kind of read it whenever I want and it's really small. So there we go. That is where I'm at. 
and that'll be my last update for this week. So I hope you guys had a wonderful week and talk to you later. Bye.